Dela Wright, my envious. Welcome. Report getting to us right now, and if this information is true, is that Queen Naomi has pushed Metete out of her Akure mansion. Who is this? Who is this being again? They say she asked. What do you want? Go marry Kabye. See? Please, and leave me alone. Don't ever come back here as Metete begged Queen Naomi to hear her out. Now, if the information we are getting is the truth, they say that uh, Meteche had gone to meet with Olori Naomi in her Akure apartment, in her Akure mansion. Now, whatever it is that Meteche had gone to meet with Olori Naomi for is something that nobody knows. And now, Dela writes, let me explain something to you, okay? Now, um... I see some comments that um, it's always some people will be saying, okay, um, uh, uh, so why didn't they do this method that this? And I want you to know that when I speak about events, I may not necessarily be speaking about an event that happened today, 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 or an event that happened yesterday, 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 or an event that happened, you know, uh, 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 three days ago. It might be four days, three days. Like what we are doing for me, I'm just giving you the latest update that has happened. So when I talk to you about events, it's not an event that happened like today, today, today. It's just a follow up because, of course, I'm giving you update as it is coming that is how i'm giving you okay so most people think that when you're talking about an event the event is today today the thing just happened today this is not it's not usually like that most times when people talk about event they're talking about something that may have happened yesterday or day before yesterday and not today okay <laughs> so let's say that uh, metete had gone to meet with olori nami in her career apartment and olori nami was like who is this one and what is this one doing here again now they say metete went to go and meet olori nami shortly after she discovered that only of Ife has decided to keep their um, uh, marriage arrangement in abeyance. Only of Ife has decided to focus more on finding ways to reconcile with Olori Nami before she says, I agree to another man. And the reason is because the number of people who are supporting Olori Nami into going into another relationship are more you know, dominant, like in her life, like people are supporting her back to back. Now, this would be the first time that, you know, Nami would be agreeing to want to get engaged. They say time and time again, it has happened and she has never, ever accepted any ring from any man. And so right now they have told Nami that, look, as long as you continue to do this, waiting for Oni of effect to free you, KBSC will never free you. Let them do what they need to do. And what is that thing that they need to do? They have done their consultations here and there. They found out that the tradition of Ile Ife allows um, for them to send um, the diary back to the royal family uh, if the girl is not marrying again. And secondly, should the tradition be given back to the royal family, the girl can go ahead and continue to live her life and probably, you know, give her partner, you know, that... Um, promise that the partner needs to get to help that partner continue to fight for Olori Naomi. And so this is what happened. They said that was why you saw that the family of Olori Naomi um, have been trying so much to return that bride price, uh, putting pressure on KBSC's family and everybody. So right now, it's not just about KBSC, it's about the entire family because even Yanifa, who is a Kong traditionalist, have told them exactly what to do, that before she comes into the country, they will have to try as much as they can to refund the diary. If they can refund the diary, Yanifa enlisted seven people in the royal family that they the palace of the Oni of Ife, who are members of the royal family that can collect the bride price. Should any one of these seven people collect the bride price that has been paid for Lori Naomi, then the bride price has been refunded. So, Kinami family is working with the list to see how they can refund the diary because KBSC will not accept the diary, but they said, yes, there are other people who may accept the diary. Let me not digress so much. And so 
Now, with Kabia Sif uh, turning and putting all his focus on um, Olori Naomi, maybe Metete just thought that, okay, she needed to go and see Olori Naomi so they can work out things or talk or something. But they said, um, um, with no appointment and anything, because she knew that, should she call for an appointment with Olori Naomi, there is a possibility that Olori Naomi would not agree to um, have that appointment with her. And so she decided, they say her driver took her to um, Akure, where they were able to locate Olori Naomi's house. And Olori Naomi, they said there was a, a knock um, uh, on a high gate, and as they went to go and check who was knocking, only to find out that it was Metete and two other women who came. And they said Naomi was just came upstairs and you know cited them, and she used Yoruba to say, "Who is this one again? What do you want here? Go and marry your KBAC. You people should leave me alone. I am not KBAC's mother." I am not, what is it? Why do you people always come here? So now what are you coming here to do? So I have to go through this drama with you again. Like, why? Why are you here? They said the other women started using Yoruba to talk to, um, you know, Naomi. Um, Naomi walked inside and the mother came out. That is upstairs. And, you know, the mother was uh, coming from, uh, shouting from inside, Tani, is it Tani, Abitan, what, Tani, Tani. Then she came, when she saw this group of people just by the gate, the mother was asking that, what is this again? Which one is this? Is this the new one that we need to go through? What are you coming to do here? And they said everybody was just upset, including the uncle. Like, the uncle was like, what is the problem with these women? Who goes to a person's house without an invitation at this time and age? Who behaves like this? So now, what is the story you're bringing here? Why are you here in the first place? Nami does not hold the key um, uh, to Kabiasi's decision-making. Should Kabiasi wants to get married, Kabiasi will go and get married. They said all um, Metete was saying that Nami, that, that they should just hear her out that she did not come to make trouble, that she came in peace, that she wants to talk to Naomi. And they said, um, the uncle was asking them from us that what do they want to say to Naomi? Like, why do they feel the need to see Naomi? What kind of negotiation are they supposed to have with Olori Naomi? That they should face their husband and leave Naomi alone. Why do they always come and where they are not needed, where they are not wanted? That the uncle was so, so upset and asked the um, um, gate man to close the gate and that was how they, they threw them outside and asked them to go and face whatever they have got to face. This is what we are hearing if the information is true. And up until now, nobody can tell why Metata was in Olori Naomi's house, what she went there to do, what um, information she wanted to pass, or what negotiation she wanted to have with Olori Naomi. Nobody could tell what that was all about. But what we heard was that, you know, they were thrown out of Olori Naomi's mansion. This is what we are hearing. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.